Wanding is the process of calibrating all cameras in your OptiTrack system to define the final 3D capture volume. To begin, make sure that your calibration wand and other markers are hidden from cameras and that all other false tracked elements have been blocked. Click Next and then choose between Fast, Medium and Slow Capture. For 6, 8 or 12 camera setups, a fast capture session should be sufficient. For installations with more cameras, the medium length capture session will most likely be required for good results. Click Start Capture to begin. Once the capture begins, the recorded trail will appear green. Good wanding technique is critical to producing an accurate optical capture volume. Make sure the wand is fully extended. To prevent your body from blocking the camera's views of the marker, extend your arm as much as possible. If you're wearing sports shoes with reflective materials, remove them to avoid falsely triggering the system. The key to good wanding is to keep the wand's marker visible to as many cameras as possible at any time. Using a generous sweeping motion, explore the entire capture volume with the wand. Be sure to wand to the full height to which you anticipate your performance jumping or reaching. Try not to move the wand outside of the capture area as this will cause discontinuities in the tracking data. At the same time, explore as close to the limits of the space as you can to optimize the size of your capture volume. Watch the camera monitors in Arena to observe and compensate for any blank areas in a given camera's field of view. When the session is complete, the one trail will turn red. When solving, use 100 data points for 6 or 8 camera configurations and 150 data points for 12 or more camera configurations. For most setups, min cameras should be set to one less than your total number of cameras. Click Start Calculation. Arena proceeds to calculate the 3D capture volume. When the calculations are finished, you'll see a list of the results. Each camera should be listed with excellent results, though one or two greats are usually acceptable. If the results do not return as excellent, repeat the process until you're satisfied. Finally, review the lens distortion for each camera. If the blue grid displaying the distortion appears distorted, the calibration was most likely inaccurate and should be repeated. Remember to repeat the calibration process after lengthy capture sessions since vibration and temperature changes over the course of time can render a previous calibration inaccurate.